Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Rights of close relatives in the Quran and the Sunnah. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Be mindful of Allah, in whose name you make request of one another, and beware of severing the ties of kinship. Allah is always watching over you. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. When reviewing the glorious Quran and the Sunnah, one realized that keeping good relationship with relatives is one of the most important duties and the most emphatic act of worship. The Almighty Allah said, Worship Allah, join nothing with Him, be good to your parents, to relatives, to orphan, to the needy. Allah also the Most High said, If other relatives, orphans, or needy people are present at the distribution of inheritance, give them something to you, and speak kindly to them. In another verse, Allah said, Remember when we took a pledge from the children of Israel, worship none but Allah, be good to your parents, and kind, and kin, to orphan, to the poor, speak good words to all people. The Prophet ﷺ said, He who believes in Allah and last day, let him maintain good relation with kin. The word kinship is Arabic, is in Arabic language, is derived from the root rah, rahmah, which is a root of the beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ar-Rahman, the most beneficent. That's why Allah promised great reward for those who maintain good relation with their relatives. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Allah created all creatures when he finished that Ar Rahim kinship said O oh Allah at this place I seek refuge O oh Allah at that at this place I seek refuge with you against severing the ties Allah said are you satisfied with that I treat with kindness those who treat you with kindness and severe ties with those who sever ties with you. It is said, I'm satisfied. Allah said, then you have that. Kinship will testify on the day of resurrection for those who kept good relationship with their relatives and will testify against those who severed the ties of kinship with their relatives. The Prophet ﷺ said, Kinship will come on the day of judgment, either testifying for the one who used to maintain connection with his relatives, or against the one who used to cut off relation with his relatives. Maintaining good relationship. Maintaining good relationship with one's relative has a great virtue in that life and in the air in the afterlife. The Prophet ﷺ has said, Whoever loved that he be granted more wealth and that his age is extended should deal with kindness with his near relatives. The Prophet ﷺ also said, keeping good relationship with relatives, having good manner and being good with neighbor, bring blessing is one in one's home and increasing one's age. The Prophet ﷺ also said, all people extend greeting Keep relationships with your kin. Provide food to people and pray at night when people are asleep so that you will enter paradise in peace. Once a man asked the Prophet ﷺ a saying, O Messenger of Allah, inform me of a deed which will make me enter paradise. The Prophet ﷺ said, You worship Allah and join none and worship Him. You should offer prayers perfectly. Go, give obligatory charity, which is zakah, 
and keep good relations with your relatives. The glorious Quran and the Prophet Sunnah emphasize the right of relatives as the Almighty Allah said, give to close, close relatives their due rights. Also Allah said, Allah commands justice, doing good and generosity towards relatives, thus spending on the needy from among one's close relatives is a very emphasized duty and it is rewarded is multiplied. As the Prophet said, giving a charity to a poor person is a charity and giving it to a relative is two things, charity and upholding the ties of kinship. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. The glorious Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have shown the virtues of having a good rela relation with close relatives and warned against severing ties of kinship. The Almighty Allah said, if you turn away now, could it be that you will go on to spend corruption all over the land and break the, your ties of kinship? These are the ones that Allah has rejected, making their ears deaf and their eyes blind. Also Allah Most High said, and those who violate Allah's covenant after it has been affirmed, break whatever ties Allah has ordered to be maintained and spread corruption in the land, it is they who will be condemned and will have the worst about. To show the punishment of severing ties with the close relatives, with the close relatives, our Prophet has said, there is no wrong action more likely to bring punishment in this world in addition to what is stored up in the next world than oppression and severing ties of kinship. Thus, we need to deepen human ties through maintaining good relations with close relatives, as this indicates one's full faith and please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and lead the stability of the society and advancement of a homeland. We ask Allah Almighty, we ask Allah Almighty to unite us and protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.